Welcome everyone to another East West Beats tutorial. Today we will be talking about Logic Pro X 10.2 update. And the most important thing about this update is it comes with another VST. It's called Alchemy. Now this is a company that Apple had acquired and now it's part of Logic Pro X 10.2 and it comes with 3100 presets. So this is more or less the likes of uh, softwares like Omnisphere or Spire that use samples to create synths. And there are a lot of features, so let me just quickly walk through how to use this particular plugin. As you can see, it's available as soon as you do a pull down menu. One of the first things that's available is Alchemy. You simply just choose it, and this particular menu comes up. Now, there are three options that you can use. You can use Browse, and this has all the patches. You can even use keywords to search in here, and you'll find um, a particular sound that you would need. Also, you can choose from a category, subcategory, genre, or the type of timber you want in the sound. The simple one here is simply you do a pull down, you choose what kind of sounds you want, and you can manipulate the sound right here. Now, these are particular hot pads that you can just drag across and it will change the sound according to uh, whichever settings are here in the XY pad. And you can also go into the advanced settings where you can load your own sounds. Um, you can choose which particular oscillators you're using. You have your ASDR curves here, and you definitely have your ARP and your effect menu sound here. So let's just walk through some presets. I'm going to go into the browse mode. I have a simple baseline set up on the um, on a drummer track, and uh, let's just see some of the sounds. Uh, I'm going to go through the bass sounds because um, it's a it's a kick and uh, snare pattern that I have. So let's see. So as you can see, there are a lot of things you can do with this one particular VST. In addition to the ES2 and the ES1 and the EXS24 that Logic gives you. Um, if you guys have any questions about Logic 10.2, feel free to leave them in the comment box. I will do an in-depth review of other features in Logic 10.2. Also, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.